Hello, this is Mike, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a piece like this and turn it into a piece like this in Cinema 4D. So if you come along here and just rotate a little bit, you can see it's looking pretty good. And uh, it's ready to go into a way 3D. And uh, let's go ahead and render it, Control-R. And there it is. So how do you build that in uh, Cinema 4D? Well, you have to use Booleans, and so let's start right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, first show you how I would do this and then do it a different way. Uh, let's start with new. Go ahead and save this project so we don't lose it. And let's start with new. And the first thing I'd want to do is actually bring a reference image out on the stage. So I'd go to plane and then I'd come along and I can just drag a reference image directly from Cinema 4D right uh, from any folder. I have a few reference images here so I just drag this and drop it right on the plane. Hit yes and then I can rotate this around and then I'd actually model using that reference image and I'm actually not going to do that uh, and the reason I'm not is because I've modeled this so many times I don't even need the reference image anymore but the process at which I'm going to use uh, is identical also one more thing is I'd actually want to use a machine drawing as opposed or a PDF drawing as opposed to using this particular image right here because you can see it's actually distorted so um, let me go ahead and just build the entire thing and show you how it's milled in uh, and we'll use reference images once we get some good ones. So let's go ahead and just uh, bring out a uh, cube. And uh, at this point, I, I kind of know what the dimensions are supposed to be. Let's bring this down in the Attributes Manager. Here we go. And uh, height, I'm just going to go for 14. And then this is just going to be, uh, could be anything. I'll just make it 256 by 256. And I can rotate that, and now I have a nice little square that I'm going to build this out of. And one of the things I want to do is actually put some uh, segments on this. So let's build up some segments. We'll put five, and two on that side, and five on that side. Just kind of know that already. And one of the things I want to do as well is go ahead and just make this editable. So we're going to make, hit C. That makes it a uh, polygon that I can edit right there. You can see a little checkered board. And then now at this point I want to select the sides and chamfer a little bit so I can get kind of a smooth curvature on the side so it won't look so, uh, give it a little bit more realistic look. So what I'm going to do is hit my UL key and just I can hit make sure that the line select and then come along and just select one side. So I got that little loop selected there. Hit my shift key and select the other side. There you go. So with those two lines uh, selected, I zoomed in a little bit here. What you want to actually do is hit the MS key for bevel. And then you're going to bevel a little bit, just put a little bit of bevel on those lines. There you go, it gives it a nice milled look. It actually looks really nice. So now that I have that made, I'm actually going to just duplicate it and expand it a little bit. So let's duplicate it. And the way you duplicate it is just go to your object manager, hit the control key, and let's pull down. And now you have duplicate copy, and I can actually move that around wherever I want to. So let's click here and actually move that just a little bit. There we go. And that's about right. And I want to expand that Y position. And I want to just hit that a little bit. So that's actually larger than the other one. So what I'm going to do is actually use this as a Boolean just to pull out a piece of it. There you go. Yes, move that around. That looks pretty good. And once again, I'm doing this all by eyeball. I typically want to do this actually in another perspective. Let's see, here we have a top-down perspective would be better. There are different perspectives that you can use. Right now we're using F1. And so now that we have that selected, all we have to do is use our Boolean tool. So come along here to this menu right here and hit Boolean. And uh, the way Boolean works is the first item is the item that's going to be cut. Let's put that into our bool. And the second item is the item that's doing the cutting. And so now you've built this nice little piece right here. And you can see it's cut out a little hole here. Now I want to make sure that it, it, it is symmetric. So I'm looking at these numbers right here. And these numbers for my particular drawing are not symmetric. So I need to have them the same. So let's just change these numbers a little bit. And, I can, and so I can now move my bool around. Just make this minus 80. And make this 80. And of course that part's symmetric, so now everything is symmetric, so I'm happy about that. And that's been cut. So if I click on this bool right here, I can see that's what it looks like. And so let me do a little bit of stuff here. I actually want to also give this kind of a beveled look. It's kind of hard to do, so what I'm going to do is use a little bit of selection. Just a little trick here. I'm just going to rotate this up. 
click on this bool, zoom in a little bit, I'm going to select these sides right here. And you want to make it, sure you hit the C key so it's editable. So I'm, so I'm actually going to select these sides and extrude them a little bit and give them shrink them, make them look like they've been beveled. So I'm going to hit my uh, bool cube and just I just hold down my shift key with selection select and I just start selecting those. And I only want to select those. I don't want to select anything else. And at this point, I hit extrude, which is basically hit your M key, use your shortcuts, extrude is T. So just extrude just a little bit. There you go. So I just extrude it a little bit, and then I'm going to shrink it. There you go. And that gives me just a real subtle kind of beveled look, OK? You can see that right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's subtle, but your eye can catch it, and it gives you the a feeling that this is a professionally done job. So we have that done right there. We're going to move this around. We're going to actually bevel the edge of this off as well. And so we're going to put a little cube in here. That's the inside of it if you want to see what that looks like. And let's rotate that, and let's just cut the edge off right here. So we actually do a slice right here. And once again, I'm just going to use Boolean. So let's go ahead and bring out a cube, and we'll change the dimensions. Let's make that uh, 40. That's large enough to slice it. And then we'll just make it a small cube. Let's say 40. Is that? Let's make it 60 and 60. And if that's not big enough, we'll make it bigger. And then we want to rotate it by 45 degrees. So hit your rotation and just go ahead and rotate. Hold your shift key down. That give you increments of five. And then you just kind of move that into position where you want to go. There you go. We're just going to slice off the end of that. And once again, we're just going to use our bool tool. So let's hit our bool tool right here. And uh, whatever goes first, that's the first thing that's cut. That, that's what's being cut. And the thing that goes next is the cutter. And I've sliced off the edge of that. Pretty cool. Now what I want to do right here, once again, is use my little bevel trick and get a little bit of bevel there so I get a nice look there. So let's hit the slicer. There you go. Let's go ahead and make hit sure we hit C so it's editable. And I want to actually select that edge right there, all those pieces right there. So I'll hit my shift key and just select everything. And you got to zoom in on it so you can get close to it and just start selecting. And then all you need to do is at this point is just hit your M, T key to extrude, extrude just a little bit. There you go. And then you hit your shrink tool just to shrink a little bit. And so it looks like you put a nice little edge on the end of that. Okay, and that looks really nice. Okay, so at this point you're doing pretty good. You've got a lot of your figure already drawn. So at this point it's looking pretty good. You've got your figure mostly drawn. You just need to put a few holes in it. And that's pretty easy to do using Boolean. Let's control R just kind of see what you got. There you go. And now let's put some holes in it. So we're going to bring out some cylinders and create some Boolean as well. So let's bring out a cylinder. And I'm going to actually bring the sides down. Now, this, the more you put in here, the more polygons you use. So you're going to bring it down to low polygons, but not too low. Let's go to about 12, see if we can get away with that. I'm going to bring down the size, the height, and we're going to bring change the radius. There you go. I want to go ahead and hit that Translate tool and just translate this into position. There you go. And that's looking very close to what you have in your model. Now, I want to start checking some numbers to make sure I'm actually on as far as numbers are concerned. So my cylinder looks a little bit large. Let's look at our coordinates. Uh, once again, these coordinates need to be even. You see they're not the same. Let's just hit 50. And we'll hit minus 50. Now, I'm just eyeballing it here. So I would actually need the machine drawings to get it right on. And once I did, I could get everything right on. But once again, I worked with this enough so it'll look close. And uh, let's bring it out a little bit more. Let's bring it to 45 and 45. And once again, I'm just going to use my bool tool. So let's go ahead and just uh, hit the bool tool. And whatever you want to cut goes first. And whatever you're cutting with goes next. And there's your hole right there. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. And now I need to put some holes 
Need any two, two cylinders uh, for the two holes that go inside the piece. So let's just look at the piece once again. 